pullback in a high quality stock with a fabulous catalyst in the rise. And you need to treat that dip as a terrific opportunity to do some buying. Consider what's happened this week to Ventus, VTR. Ventus is Kramer Fave Healthcare Real Estate Investment Trust that owns everything from senior housing to skilled nursing facilities, medical office buildings, some hospitals, with over 1,500 properties across the US, UK, and Canada. On well, Monday, we got not one, but two huge pieces of news from Ventus. First, the company announced that it plans to spin off the bulk of its skilled nursing facility properties as an independent company, with each shareholder getting one share of the spinoff for every four shares they own of Ventus. I think this makes a lot of sense because Ventus' skilled nursing facility business has been growing more slowly than the rest of the company. This is the kind of breakup that helps unlock that value. I bet you that business grows much faster soon. Second, Ventus announced that it's acquiring Ardent Medical Services. It's a privately held hospital operator, uh, hospital owner and operator, that's important because there's a difference, for $1.75 billion dollars with a plan to then sell off Arden's hospital operating business, keeping the hospital real estate. The deal is expected to be added to earnings within the first full years. The hospital space is a fantastic place to do business. Now, in response to these two massively important announcements, Vent uh, Ventus quickly jumped 5.5% on Monday. That was right. From $73 up to $76.90. But now the stock's pulled back to the 74 level where it yields more than 4%. In other words, if you buy Ventus here, you're basically getting the spinoff news and the smart Arden purchase for free. And make no mistake about it, Ventus is a master at acquiring and integrating other companies. I think the stock, which has given us a 21% return with dividends since we last spoke to the CEO roughly 10 months ago, could be a steal at these levels. Do not take it from me. Let's check in with Deborah Kafaro. She's the bankable chairman and CEO of Ventus. Hear more about these very exciting developments. Ms. Kafaro, welcome back to Mad Money. Great to see you. Thanks for having us. I had to go in a little more detail than usual because this is a little complicated even for you. It is. But I it love is. the fact that people have to understand this is your bread and butter. To quote your most recent conference call, yes, we are a little bit of a deal machine. This is more complicated than usual. So explain what, what kinds of pieces of paper people are going to get and why you think this is a good deal for everybody. Great. Well, the spinoff is going to create two companies that are positioned to grow. Okay. The, uh, we've taken over $300 million of NOI in our skilled nursing okay. business, or SNFs, and we're going to spin it off into a pure play REIT that focuses on local and private regional skilled nursing providers, okay. which is 75 plus percent of the market, and there'll be a great external growth right. story, well positioned in the marketplace, both with investors and with customers. And then we've made Ventas better. We've made Ventas still have all the scale you love, all the diversification, even better with the hospital segment. Right. And low cost to capital, great customers, lots of private pay, and still positioned to grow. So what's not to like? We're well, very excited. But you were also very opportunistic. You say in the comments, look, look, the Affordable Care Act did matter for this. Yes, it did. Um, the hospital segment is, is growing nicely, and uh, it has good underlying trends. And it's a trillion dollar revenue market, and we're very excited that we will be able to participate in the consolidation there. The, the Affordable Care Act is only one of the positive trends, okay. though, including demographics as well. Right, and that's been a continual theme. You've yes. been riding the, the demographic wave, yes. which is only get better and better, because you yes. just tell people which are the, the uh, well, uh, the senior living places that you have that are so good. Yes, yes. Over half our business, as you know, is the high quality, yes. private pay, senior living business where our parents over 85 right. population like to live and be cared for and by people our customers. And private pay means no, it's not at the whim of the government, which is right. a lot of people get that exactly. wrong, which is why many people have sat out the big gains that you have exactly. generated. Exactly. Uh, a lot of people wonder, uh, you, you have the low, you have low cost of capital. Why yes. is your capital cost so much lower than even all the other REITs I deal with? Yes, well, we, you know, our cost of goods sold is our cost of capital. Right. So we work very hard to have a currency that can basically allow us to be a consolidation machine right. and still make profits for our investors. And so um, the healthcare market is so great, it's so broad, it's so big, and as we have scale, we've been able to have cheaper and cheaper capital that we're able to use to make great deals and, and more profits for shareholders. It is a virtuous circle. And you've been able to raise your, your distribution far more yes. consistently yes. than almost everybody in yes. the industry. Yes, and that's a great thing about our deal. I mean, our dividend has risen 9% for 10 years on a compound annual basis. We're predicting a 10% increase with the two deals 
we just announced, and that is a very important component of our total return proposition. How much does scarcity value matter? When I was looking at the equivalent to the skilled nursing facilities, there's yes. really only one other company out there. Frankly, I'm not going to not going to mention them because okay. they have uh, they're not as performing as well as what you've okay. done. But th there'll be a notion of if you want a chit in the skilled yes. nursing facility business, yes. it's going to be what you spin off. Yes, and that really went into our thought process right. of creating value through this spin off. There is a gap in the market. Investors want these higher yielding, higher dividend play companies and customers need it. There's really very few people out there in the market who are exploiting those opportunities, both getting the investor capital, but also serving these, this customer base. And do you think that that will be uh, in the REIT index, which we know has mattered tremendously? Yes, it has. I mean, we were we were in the forefront of getting healthcare REITs in the index right. way back when, and this will be a $5 billion company, and so it will fit very nicely into the the healthcare and the REIT index. And I think it will really, it's gonna attract a lot of dedicated and non-dedicated investor capital. Well, I think that's important for people to understand that these stocks go up for two reasons. One, scarcity value to institutional yes. investors that want them very much yes. in a low yielding environment. Two, because yes. Deb has given you growth. So you have growth and high yield, which does not exist anymore, frankly. Exactly, and we have two companies that provide both. That will be excellent. That's Deborah Kafara. She's the chairman and CEO of Ventos and one of my bankable 21 from Get Rich Carefully. May Money's back after the break. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.